right now I'm launching my group program for the year. I want to show you on screen um, how I got feedback, or I should say got support for my Facebook post about the group program. I got sort of supportive comments on those on those Facebook on the Facebook post before I then ran the Facebook ad to distribute that post to more people. So I'm just going to encourage all of you who are wanting to launch something and you have a couple of supportive fans that could um, chime in with their with their you know uh, comments about how great it is to work with you or especially if it's something they've bought before uh, but even if they haven't bought before they could chime in with just saying it's really um you know i i i i, I hope you all get the chance to work with so and so you know that kind of thing so let me show you on screen um what that looks like so i basically said need some support with my posts announcing master heart mh that's what this stands for if you have a moment today so this is a key <laughs> if you have a moment today because otherwise uh, i mean you could say today or tomorrow uh, you could also say if you have a moment in the next three days but but something that allows people to say okay if i have a moment today i'll do it if not you know i'll, I'll let it pass and that's totally okay can you do the following let me know which of these two short posts you think is more interesting for attracting good people. So what I actually did was uh, on Saturday, I posted one on Sunday, I posted another one. So just uh, two, two days in a row, I posted two, two versions basically of the same call to action. Uh, it doesn't matter, um, but they basically, the ones that the supportive fans I asked clicked on these two and then they comment, they basically let me know out of these 10 messages, which ones they liked better. And then I said, under the more interesting one, can you add a quick comment saying what you love about you know the thing I'm launching? Uh, because I will I want to boost that post and maybe both tomorrow, you know, Facebook ads, that kind of thing. Thank thanks if you have a few moments today. And I said, if not, let me know your response later. <laughs> okay. So even some of the people couldn't respond the same day or 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 even the next day, and they responded a few days later. And that's perfectly fine too, you know. So anyway, the winning post, as you'll see, I'm going to show you on the screen here. Um, I'm talking as fast as I can before I have to let my cat out. Uh, so the, uh, no, that's not the winning post. The winning post was this one actually. And, uh, the winning post, as you'll see, um, and in fact, I even changed some of the language based on the feedback I received in these 10 responses. I changed the language, but anyway, um, as you can see, these very nice people commented, you know, about about the program so that now as i've as i as i'm running the facebook ad all the people seeing the ad are also seeing these comments and the fact that they are facebook comments is means they're they're legit they're not just some testimonial on a website that i could have made up which i never make up testimonials but people sometimes doubt hey are you making up these these things up no these are actual people you can look at their accounts <laughs> you can look at their profiles and things like that so i do recommend uh you give this a try so let me know if you have any questions about this. So I do want to clarify for the recording, for those who are asking, this is just a group email that I sent, uh, just to, you know, I you know, put a bunch of email addresses in and, and I'm just sending it to them. And I, I happen to, now, if you were doing this, um, you probably shouldn't put them all in the to field or the CC field. Like if I'm, if I'm writing a message, I shouldn't put them all in the to or the CC field. I should put them in the BCC field so that uh, people don't see each other's, e people can't reply all and have this avalanche group thread to happen. Now, you should also do this very sparingly because if you're BCCing a bunch of people, uh, they have no way to unsubscribe, right? Because you're just sending an email to people. So you just have to be careful. You're doing this really to people who wouldn't mind that you BCC them. And the other thing I want to I, I want to mention about this is uh, you might, we might wonder how did I get the links to these things? Well, if you didn't know, if you go to any Facebook post that you've written, you can simply click on the timestamp. Like I'm going to click on the timestamp here. And once I click on the timestamp, it'll give me the exact URL that I can copy and paste, for example, into an email. Oops, I don't know where the email went. The email to, uh, to, to send to people. So hope that helps. And instead of emailing people with BCC, uh, a more, you know, maybe legitimate way of doing it uh, and you could reach more people by using your email newsletter. So if you if you had an email newsletter or some segment of your email newsletter that you felt was um, warm enough where they wouldn't mind 
getting this kind of like, hey, would you support me kind of message. Uh, you could certainly put the, the link in the email newsletter, maybe to your warmest fans or whatever, and, and do it that way. So 